What if we told you that dinosaurs might not have been just mindless beasts? What if before the asteroid struck some species, we're already walking down the path of intelligence, possibly even developing tools or building social structures beyond what we ever imagined? It sounds like science fiction, but the idea has sparked real debates among scientists. When we talk about ancient civilizations, we think of Mesopotamia, Egypt, or even Atlantis. But what if the first real civilization on Earth didn't belong to humans at all? What if it was buried under six, six million years of rock and mystery? Some researchers have dared to ask, could a few species of dinosaurs like Trudon have evolved into intelligent beings? Could they have developed culture language or even primitive technology before everything was wiped out? While mainstream science scoffs at the idea, a growing number of paleontologists and theorists are revisiting this wild possibility. Not because there's proof, but because there are questions that still have no answers. And those questions begin with an unsettling realization, maybe we've been looking at the fossils all wrong. Trudon wasn't the biggest or most fearsome dinosaur, but it might have been the smartest. This small bird-like predator roamed North America during the late Cretaceous, and its brain-to-body ratio was unusually high for a dinosaur comparable to some modern birds and mammals. In fact, if evolution had continued, some scientists believe Trudon could have developed intelligence rivaling that of early humans. Paleontologist Dale Russell famously proposed the dinosauroid theory in the 1980s, imagining what Trudon might have become if it hadn't gone extinct. He suggested a bipedal big-eyed tool-using creature, basically a reptilian version of us. Mainstream science laughed at the idea. But was it really that absurd? Trudon had large eyes suggesting sharp vision, grasping hands, and a flexible brain, capable of problem-solving. It showed signs of social behavior and even nesting patterns. Could this be the earliest sign of a creature developing not just survival skills, but complex thought? While no evidence of technology has been found, what if any traces were lost in the same cataclysm that wiped out 100% of life on Earth? What if the clues we seek are hidden, not in bones, but in the gaps between them? The fossil record is a story told in fragments. For every complete skeleton unearthed, there are millions more that were never preserved. Fossils only form under very specific conditions. Sediment pressure, time, and luck. That means most living things leave no trace behind. And even when fossils form, they can be destroyed by erosion, tectonic movement, or human activity. So what if we're expecting too much from the fossil record? If a dinosaur civilization ever existed, especially one primitive or short-lived, it's entirely possible it left behind nothing recognizable. Wood tools rot, mud huts dissolve, even bones can vanish. Human history only goes back a few thousand years, and yet we've already lost entire cities to time. Now imagine trying to find traces of a society from six million years ago. It's like expecting to find an iPhone in a volcanic ash layer from the Jurassic. But here's the twist. Some anomalies have been found. Footprints with strange patterns. Fossilized objects whose origins remain unknown. Could these be misinterpretations, hoaxes? Or are they glimpses of something that science hasn't dared to name? Maybe the fossil record is silent, not because there's nothing to say, but because we haven't been listening with the right questions. Dale Russell's dinosauroid sparked more than just curiosity. It lit a firestorm. Critics argued that his reconstruction was biased, projecting human features onto a hypothetical dinosaur. Why would evolution lead to humanoid shapes? Why would a dinosaur need thumbs or upright posture? But behind the debate was a deeper fear, the idea that intelligence may not be unique to humans, that our evolutionary path isn't a one-in-a-billion miracle, but part of a repeating pattern when conditions are right. Russell's concept suggested that if evolution favors intelligence, then given time, other species like Trudon could follow a similar trajectory. It was a terrifying thought, because if intelligence could arise again and again, then the universe 
might be filled with civilizations that rise and fall, unnoticed, or worse, forgotten. The debate also exposed our own arrogance. Are we the only intelligent species Earth ever produced, or just the latest? Could intelligence be more common than we think, just not always tied to skyscrapers and satellites? The dinosauroid might never have existed, but the very idea challenges the foundation of our self-image, and it forces us to reconsider the story we've been telling ourselves for centuries that humans are the end goal of evolution. Sixty-six million years ago, a six-mile-wide asteroid slammed into the Yucatan Peninsula, unleashing the most devastating extinction event in Earth's history. It wasn't just a big explosion, it was a planetary reset. Fires swept across continents, ash darkened the skies, temperatures plummeted, ecosystems collapsed. If a dinosaur civilization had existed, even in its earliest form, it would have been annihilated in seconds. But it goes deeper. That level of destruction doesn't just kill, it erases. It reshapes coastlines, buries layers of history under molten rock, and pulverizes entire regions. Modern cities couldn't withstand it, let alone ancient settlements. In fact, scientists estimate that over 90% of Earth's geological record has been lost or altered by tectonic shifts, erosion, and volcanic activity. So what chance would any trace of a primitive civilization have? The impact zone itself, the Chicxulub crater, is hidden beneath layers of rock and ocean. Even today, we're still uncovering its secrets. So if we can barely access the remnants of the asteroid, how could we expect to find traces of a fragile society that lived before it? The truth is chilling. If dinosaurs had built anything, nature likely wiped it clean. Despite the odds, there have been findings that refuse to fit neatly into our understanding of history. Fossilized footprints in strange formations. Sedimentary layers with shapes resembling tools but lacking context. Ancient rock carvings or figurines that some claim resemble dinosaurs. Most of these discoveries are dismissed as natural phenomena, misinterpretations, or outright hoaxes. And some probably are. But what if a few aren't? What if among the noise there are signals we've missed or worse chosen to ignore? Consider the infamous Acambaro figures found in Mexico, thousands of small statues, some resembling humans riding dinosaurs. Mainstream science labels them forgeries, yet local legends persist. Or the Ica stones of Peru, etched with scenes of advanced surgery and extinct animals. Again, most likely fakes. But they spark a recurring theme, the human urge to connect the distant past with advanced life. Even in ancient mythologies, serpents and dragons often carried intelligence, culture, and power. Could these myths be echoes of something real? Something buried so deeply in time that only shadows remain. It's not about proving a civilization existed. It's about asking why these stories exist in the first place. Because sometimes legends survive where evidence does not. If myths survive where facts vanish, then maybe we've underestimated the power of cultural memory. Around the world, from Chinese dragons to Mesoamerican feathered serpents, ancient stories describe powerful reptilian beings, some wise, some destructive. Could these be distorted echoes of something our species never witnessed, but still inherited through fear or imagination? Could ancient people have sensed remnants, fossils, bones, even old warnings that sparked these tales? The absence of evidence is not always the evidence of absence. In history, legends often speak before science does. In 2018, NASA scientists Gavin Schmidt and Adam Frank published a paper titled The Silurian Hypothesis. Its premise, if an industrial civilization had existed on Earth millions of years ago, could we detect it today? Inspired by science fiction, the paper didn't mention dinosaurs directly, but its implications were massive. The authors concluded that evidence of an ancient civilization could vanish over geological timescales. Plastics degrade, metals corrode, even radioactive isotopes decay. 
After a few million years, nearly all traces would be gone. They also proposed ways to detect indirect signs, chemical shifts in sediment, carbon isotope anomalies, sudden temperature spikes. Coincidentally, some of these signs do appear in the geological record, but are attributed to natural causes. What if they're not? What if we're misreading a chapter written not by volcanoes, but by a forgotten species? While Schmidt and Frank didn't endorse ancient aliens or lost empires, their paper opened the door to serious scientific discussion. And for the first time, it gave credibility to a once ridiculed idea that civilizations might not be unique to humans. If Earth could forget a species once intelligent, how many others have come and gone without a trace? The universe is unimaginably vast. Trillions of stars, billions of Earth-like planets, and yet we've heard nothing. This is the famous Fermi paradox. If intelligent life is common, where is everyone? But maybe we're asking the wrong question. Maybe civilizations don't survive long enough to leave permanent marks. Maybe intelligence doesn't guarantee longevity. Or maybe intelligence rises, falls, and is erased, just like what might have happened on Earth. If dinosaurs developed intelligence, even briefly, they could have been the first to face the challenges of technology, climate, or war. They might have failed. Their failure could explain the silence in the stars. It's a haunting idea that civilizations, including ours, are short flickers in the cosmos destined to vanish before they're ever found. And Earth may already have hosted one such flicker of spark buried by fire and stone. We search for life on Mars and moons like Europa while ignoring the possibility that the greatest mystery lies right beneath our feet. If dinosaurs had a civilization, their story might be a warning, not just a curiosity, because if they came and went, so could we. Most scientists reject the idea of a dinosaur civilization not because it's impossible, but because it's unprovable. Science depends on evidence, and without concrete artifacts, tools, buildings, writing, it's hard to justify more than speculation. But beneath that is something deeper fear, not fear of ridicule, but fear of rewriting everything we know. If we admit the possibility of a prior civilization, we must re-examine geology, paleontology, even human exceptionalism. It would mean intelligence isn't rare. It would mean extinction is not the end, it's just erasure. That idea threatens the foundation of modern science. And yet the theory persists in whispers, in conferences, in books that walk the line between genius and madness. Because even without proof, the question won't die. If there's even a 1% chance a civilization existed before us, shouldn't we be looking harder? Shouldn't we question the gaps in our record? The anomalies we dismiss, the stories we mock? Maybe the biggest threat to truth isn't bad evidence, it's closed ones. And maybe, just maybe, science, greatest discovery lies not in the future, but in a past we chose to forget. Imagine standing on a windswept plain looking out across an ancient fossil bed. The bones beneath your feet might tell a story millions of years older than humans. But what if they tell more than just life and death? What if long before pyramids or writing another kind of mind looked up at the stars and wondered, just like we do, we may never find definitive proof of a dinosaur civilization? The Earth is too old, too violent, too forgetful. But that doesn't make the idea any less powerful. It forces us to question our place in the world. It reminds us how fragile memory is and how quickly history can disappear. And it dares us to wonder, what else have we missed? Maybe there was never a Trudon city. Maybe no tools, no temples, no dinosaur philosophers. But maybe there was. And maybe, just maybe, we're the ghosts of a world that once was walking atop the graves of minds older than we can imagine. What do you believe? Could we be digging through the ashes of a forgotten past? Tell us in the comments. And if you're ready to challenge everything you thought you knew, subscribe for more. Perhaps we are not just searching for answers, we're searching for reflections. Reflections of ourselves in creatures long gone. 
Maybe we're not the first to ask these questions or fear the dark. And if that's true, then somewhere in Earth's ancient memory, another mind once asked, what happens after us? The next time you see a fossil, don't just see bones, see the silence that follows forgotten voices. And maybe just maybe we're not the beginning of the story, but a second chance to remember it.